My favorite of the Chris murals is the Spirit of the Printed Word. It is, it's gorgeous. It's very much of its time. It's very Beaux-Arts in its style and its color and its symbolism. The Spirit of the Printed Word is one of several murals that have adorned the walls of Centre Block for decades. Artist Arthur Crisp painted the murals on canvas and glued them directly to the wall, a technique known as marouflage. These pieces reflect various aspects of Canadian life in the early 20th century and celebrate the printed word and the printing press. Now as the Centre Block undergoes major rehabilitation, the murals have been carefully removed in order to protect them from construction activities and preserve them for future generations. There hasn't been a lot of work done to the fine art murals over the past several decades, partly because they're in rooms where there's a lot of activities going on. So this gives us a really good opportunity to um, look at them, fully document them, and give them a good cleaning and repair session. Um, over the years, there's been some soiling buildup and the adhesive has broken down in certain areas, so this is a perfect opportunity to give them some TLC. The murals are fragile and nearly 100 years old, so a team of fine art conservators based out of Ottawa were brought in to remove the murals without damaging the canvas or paint layers. So the hardest part of uh, removing these murals um, really was the actual physical separation. These are paintings are on canvas that have been glued to a plaster wall. So the actual separation from the wall proved to be quite difficult. They required quite a bit of physical labor um, and tools. We used uh, spatulas and, and chisels to actually to separate the canvas. Despite the challenges, the team was successful in taking down each mural. Once off the wall, they rolled them onto large sauna tubes and wrapped them to safeguard from temperature and humidity fluctuations. The murals were transported to an off-site studio for conservation treatment to begin on each piece. First, the team carefully unrolled each panel onto a large work surface. Then, the team removed the protective paper facing they had applied to help protect them during transportation. The next step was to reattach or stabilize any paint that was in imminent danger of falling off. As part of the conservation treatment, the murals were then carefully turned over and the team removed any remaining debris from the back of the murals prior to rolling them back onto the sauna tube. The murals will remain in storage until they are ready to return to center block. So once the work is complete on their cleaning and repair, um, next steps will be to determine how to best reinstate them in the spaces in center block. So we'll have to look at various aspects like the acoustics of the space, if there's a, a different mounting system that we want to use so that they're easier to remove for maintenance or for cleaning or for in case there's an emergency, we can take them out safely. This important work on the murals and other heritage assets within Centre Block will ensure visitors to Parliament can continue to enjoy these pieces for many years to come. Oh, the Centre Block project is it's just such a perfect opportunity to see what's, what goes on behind the scenes in the building. It's such a beautiful space. It's been a real privilege to work on the project with uh, terrific colleagues and the team and to help bring it into the 21st century for the Parliament and for Canadians.